Well, in, in the second tutorial on this Tran module, I will talk about uh, piecewise linear source or PWL and I will also uh, tell you how to represent a capacitor in a spice. So, this is general waveform of PWL source or piecewise linear. So, you can see that this, the whole characteristic is non-linear but if it is as if it has been made using uh, some pieces of linear curve, right? So it's piecewise linear voltage source, or it can be a current source. So the command for the first know that various x y coordinate is v1, t1, v2, t2, and so it will basically connect these two coordinates through a straight line and similarly these two coordinates through a straight line and so on and so forth. And here is how we can use. Uh, we can define it. So it, it is defined as PWL T1 comma V1, T2 comma V2, T3 comma V3, and so on. Okay. So let's uh, let, let's see. This is a step source. This is a voltage source having a step here, and how we can use it. How can you be use PWL uh, syntax to create such a form? So you see this is milliseconds and if I give this corner a slope why I am giving it a slope because if I want to represent this this source as PWL I cannot do that because I do have some unique value here and some unique value here but at this point transition point I have two values at one millisecond so I cannot represent this and uh, that's why I will give it a small slope of one microsecond. So now you see that basically these two waveforms are not different because you are basically having time in millisecond and you are giving it a slope of one microsecond, so it will not be visible to you. Okay. So whenever there is a such kind of transition, you can always give a small slope. For example, if you are working in terms of millisecond, microsecond slope will be adequate, and so on. So and uh, now I have unique points. So between these two points this one and this one I have a straight line section between these two points I have a straight line section and between these two points I have a straight line section so there are one two three four points and I can write its coordinate so this is zero 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 comma zero and this is again the time t1 v1 t2 v2 so here the time is one millisecond comma the value is zero and here time is again okay one millisecond plus one microsecond so it is this much and comma five its voltage value is you can see from here y value is five and this coordinate is again it is at two millisecond its value is comma five so i can represent this vs by vs between node p and zero pwl zero zero one m comma zero and so on so forth like this so Bs P zero PWL zero zero one M. I am following actually this this string T one V one T two V two T three V three and so on. Okay. So let's uh, let's generate this kind of waveform. And uh, to do that, let's pull a notepad here. And the first line is a comment line. So PWL source, PWL source. So there is a voltage source BBS between node P and 0 and it is PWL. And its coordinates are 0, 0, 1M, comma, comma is not uh, mandatory. It just a space will do 0 comma 0 and then next is 1.001 m comma voltage is 5 and then finally 2 m and 5 so and if i want to perform the transient analysis so i will perform i want to see the this whole thing so the maximum time is 2 milliseconds, so I will write dot run 2 
So why not uh, we go ahead and we do the simulation dot in file save as and pwl dot sp and file save let's pull up this empty space open pwl and hit run now press control a vp the potential at mode p so you can see this waveform right so you are not able to see the a small slope here but if you want to zoom it around here so you just click here left click here and keep it pressed and then drag your mouse to create a circle a rectangle along this along this line and leave the mouse so you can see this finite slope is visible now because i have zoomed it and if you want to come back you just click here so it will be again fit so this is how you can represent a, a pwl source actually a step source using pwl pwl can be used to do many things for example you can generate a triangular waveform one possibility is that and I, in the next tutorial i will be using this pwl source with a capacitor i mean basically i will be applying a step signal to a capacitor rc network okay